Hello everyone, this is Harsha. Welcome to my channel, Crypto English. So hi guys, you can see in my screen. Uh, today we are going to talk about a Node setup tutorial, and it is going to be one of the biggest upcoming project, which is StarkNet. So in this video, we will talk about StarkNet Node setup, its tokenomics, and what is the probability of getting a drop by running a node. So everything will be covered in this video. Watch this video till end. Before starting the video, if you are here for the first time, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, click the like button. If you have any doubts or clarification, leave them in the comment section below. In this video, like that is 200 likes, so definitely click the like button right away. So let's begin the video, guys. So first thing, why are we running a node? So it's very simple question. So in my channel, if you are following my channel, a couple of months back, we have posted a video about uh, Aptos node setup video. So in those we in that video, whoever participated and set up the Aptos node, they were able to make around 300 Aptos tokens. They got a free airdrop of 300 Aptos tokens, which was worth around 3,000 dollars. Now. Same thing we can expect in other product and we try to run iron fish node in iron fish node we could make a decent profit but it was not a huge profit but definitely we got back our VPS profit and some small amount of profits. Now so we have also tried the node setup of Sui network and in that we spend a lot for the setting of the node but we didn't get any reward. So you should keep in mind running these node setups are completely risky. So you try this only if you are ready to spend the money. So for Starknet node setup we need to spend around 12 to 13 dollars per month. Now, as of now, there is no guaranteed rewards or aid drops from Starknet uh, for the node setup user. So keep these things in mind. And if you're OK to spend this $12, even if you're not re getting uh, any rewards, then only you follow this video or otherwise you can close this video and leave it. So now let's begin. So let, before going to the node setup video, let's talk about Starkware and Starknet token. So Starkware has done a funding rounds of total 282 million dollars. It is very huge amount and this particular entity is having two wings. One is Stark EX and another is a Stark Net. And then in July 2022, they have announced their uh, Starknet Foundation and they have introduced Starknet token. So as per the Starknet tokenomics, if you see this tokenomics, they have allocated 50% allocation to the Starknet Foundation and out of that 15, 50%, uh, 9% is going to the committee provision and which is already a confirmed rewards to the users who have interacted with Stark EX technology before June 1st, which means Stark EX technology using platforms are couple of platforms like DYDX, Immutable X and couple of other platforms. So in case if you interacted with those platform before June 1st, you might already can get a confirmed airdrop from the Starknet in this 9% community allocation. But this airdrop was given only to the one leg of the Starkware, which is the Stark EX. But what about the second leg of the Starkware, which is Starknet? So there is nothing, uh, no rewards were discussed in this document, but there is one uh, Easter egg in this. If you see this 8.1% of tokens are unallocated. So in my point of view, this particular allocation will be going to the community uh, who have participated or interacted in the stark net uh, uh, platform so stark net that's why we made a video about stark net how to do transactions on stark net and we have done that so to increase the chances today we're going to set up and run a stark net node you can see i'm already setting uh, set up and i'm already started running the node and by doing that we might increase the a drop chances so now let's begin the node setup guide so now uh, if you want to install as per the documentation, you can go to the GitHub repository so you can read this document. There is a lot of a lot of lines of code. So it will be very difficult. That's why I made you a simple two line code for you guys. So first thing it is available in as per the Git, GitHub instructions. It is available both on Golly testnet and mainnet. So we will be running on mainnet today. And now before that we will be using the nodes guru line of code. So which will help us to run the code within two line of codes. So let's begin. So first thing you need to have a uh, VPS uh, available with you. So VPS uh, uh, we are buying from the PQ hosting. My referral link will be in the description below. If this video was helpful, you can use my referral link. And once you log into PQ hosting on the left side, you can go to uh, virtual private services, click on order. Once you click on order, you will get to this page here. You select a center, which is not the default center. You select a random one from the list because after this video, many users will try to select the default address and PQ hosting may not have the capacity to serve all those customers. So to select a random uh, country is a recommended one. Then you scroll down a bit. There is a minimum requirement of four core processor and 8 GB RAM for this running a node. So you can select this to 14.27 euros per month. Just click on order. Under operating system, select Ubuntu 22.04 and click on add to cart. 
So now we have a special code for our community members. You can use the promo code Crypto Telugu in capitals and click on use code, and you will get an instant discount of 15%. So now you are you will be able to pay only 12.13 dollars or 12.5 dollars, including all the fees. Just click on pay. Once you click on pay, in the next screen you have multiple payment options. So you can even pay using the cryptocurrencies. That's why we are selecting PQ Hosting, where other VPS providers doesn't support cryptocurrency payments. So that's why we are using PQ. Then you can just click on pay, or you already have some balance. So I'll just click on pay, and I'll make the payment. So once you make the payment, your VPS will be uh, started deploying. And after a couple of minutes, if you go to VPS page, you can see activation in progress. If you refresh, you can see it is now activated. Now just double click on this page. You will get IP and password details for your VPS. Just copy the IP address. Now you have to install Putty software in your desktop. I already shown in couple of videos. So once install, open this Putty software and in the host name, just paste the IP address. Click on open and click on accept. And now your command line is open. So now you can enter the user ID as root, all in small letters. And for the password, you can go back to the Putty, uh, sorry, PQ hosting. Scroll down a bit and copy the password. Right click for pasting. <coughs> And click on enter. So now we have successfully logged into our VPS. Now second step is very very important. So you have to go to this Alchemy page. We have already registered. Uh, if you haven't registered, link will be in the description below. You can use that and register to Alchemy page. And after registration, you have to click on create app and then give a name here. I am just giving Starnet and select Ethereum and Ethereum mainnet on the network. Click on create app. So in case if you get an error. Try after uh, two or three hours, so you will be able to get it. Or in case if you already created a Ethereum mainnet uh, uh, app during the sign up process, then you can use that also. So I am using already available one. I'll just click on View Keys, and then here you have a HTTPS uh, uh, string. So just copy that, open a Notepad, paste it there. So now, very very important thing, you have to go back to the uh, Nodes Guru page, copy this first line of codes, two lines of codes, just copy that. Paste it in the same line, uh, same notepad below that. Now copy this link, cut it, and then you have to replace that with this code. You are alchem uh, your alchemy HTTP address. So just replace that URL with your address. That's all. Now we are good to go. Just copy this two lines of code with your uh, HTTP address. Then go back to the Putty software. Just right click, paste it, and click on Enter. So now once you do that, uh, it will uh, do the RPC updation. Now just close this window. Just go back to the uh, Nodes Guru. Just copy this one line code which starts with W get. And then just copy it, right click. Just go back to the Putty software, paste it and click on enter. So now once you do that, Nodes Guru installation will start. It will take 20 minutes, around 15 to 20 minutes guys. Whenever you get such pop up, you can select none of the above and continue. And it will take 15 to 20 minutes time. So it is a uh, it will take a lot of time. So just wait for the node installation to be get completed. So just keep that window open. After 15 to 20 minutes, your node Starnet node will be installed and will be start syncing to the blockchain. So now you can see it is installed and works. So now you have a simple code here given service uh, uh, Starnet uh, status. So you can use that to set the status right now. The block sync is around 217. You can visit, uh, you can also have this command check logs command. You can copy this and you can check the logs of your node at any point of time. So now you can see my node is syncing at 294 block and will be keep on syncing. Now to check the status of the syncing and current block, you can go to Voyager. It is a Starnet blockchain explorer. I'll put the link in the description below and here you can see current block is 47,319. So I'm right now at 362. It will take around some time, couple of hours to sync to the blockchain. Once that is synced, we are good to go. And another way to check whether your uh, node is running properly or not. So you can go back to Alchemy page, select your app. And then here you can see all the statistics successfully, uh, uh, successful last 24 hours, 100 percent in the bottom. Also, you can see the uh, interactions. So that means your node is successfully installed and running. So it is still syncing. So once the synchronization happen, it might take around uh, maybe one day because 47,000 blocks are there. So I am still syncing. So I haven't completed my syncing yet, but I posted the video. After synchronization, there is a very, very important step you have to do. You have to head over to Starknet or uh, Discard channel. Under the Discard left side, they have one tab called Full Node Sync uh, Screenshot. So there you can post your screenshots as a proof so that that might be a criteria to get the airdrop. So right now, Starknet discard uh, invitations are closed, paused. 
which means uh, you cannot join the discard but you have to wait for a couple of days so once they reopen the discard links i will post the updates in my twitter channel so you can follow me on twitter so there you will be able to join on the discard and then you have to post all the screenshots of your node from alchemy page and everything on to discard so if you remember recently uh, sui has done a drop to discard users only so that could be the important step so do follow that steps so follow me on twitter for the update on that so now that's all guys that's how we set up a simple starknet node with two lines of code so if this video was useful or helpful do subscribe to this channel like this video leave your feedback or doubts in the comment section below so that's all guys thanks for watching jai hind